Thanks to research, we know a lot more about what risk factors affect breast cancer. This has helped thousands of women take action to reduce their risk. But we need to go further and know more. That is why we are so interested in the issue of breast density. So the research that we're currently conducting in a large population study is to assess the risk that a woman has of breast cancer when she attends for screening. We do this by incorporating well-known risk factors like when a woman has her first pregnancy along with a relatively new risk factor called breast density. So what is breast density? Well breast density is measuring the ratio of the glandular tissue, the actual breast tissue itself, compared to fatty tissue within the breast. So if you look at a mammogram there is a predominantly white area. These represent the fibrous glandular tissue within the breast. When you look at this mammogram here, it's predominantly dark, which means that breast is predominantly fatty breast. And this breast has a much lower risk than this breast. In fact, the risk in someone with this breast at the same age would be five times the risk in the predominantly fatty breast. So what's really clear now is that breast density is a really important risk factor. But the concern is that currently the mammograms that are taken in the screening vans such as this one around the country do not routinely measure breast density. And that seems a shame because it's such an important risk factor that can be incorporated with other well-known risk factors to assess a woman's risk more accurately. So why measure a woman's risk of developing breast cancer? Well, I think there are a number of reasons. Firstly, she may well want to know what that risk is, but it also gives us the opportunity to better target preventive measures more appropriately to whatever the level of risk is. Therefore, what I'd like to see is that all women, when they attend for their first mammogram as part of the screening programme, have the possibility of having their risk assessment carried out using breast density and other risk factors so that we can offer them the best possible advice for their future in terms of countering their risk of developing breast cancer. It is estimated that around 700,000 women in this country might be at increased risk of breast cancer because they have a higher breast density. We hope that a pilot looking at sharing breast density information at routine breast screening appointments could begin within three to five years. As new information on breast density emerges, it will be important for the NHS Breast Screening Programme to use this information to help tailor the frequency of women's appointments for breast screening. It is also important that when new breast cancer risk models emerge, that doctors use these models to help identify women at increased risk of getting breast cancer.